Brace a 2-1 victory today against Air United. It was a big three points and you played your part way on to, to grab the equaliser. Yeah, no, obviously a great feeling to get my first goal for the club. Um, and even better to get the three points. It's, that's what we wanted to do today and, and, and we've got the three points. So we've just got to look forward to next week and uh, go again. Looking from the sidelines at the first half, did you feel that um, we didn't play that well and one 0 here was maybe a fair reflection on the game? Yeah, I thought obviously it was a tough first half. They were they were picking a lot of the second balls up and and things like that. But listen, it's it's a game of two halves. At the end of the day, we've we've gone out and and won the won the second half two 0 So that's all we can do. In terms of when the manager shouted you across to to come on, what what was he saying? What was your role? What was he expecting of you? Just want to be on that left side of the mil midfield, just to obviously pick up the ball and and try and play those creative passes that will get us get us in on goal and. And luckily, obviously, I've got a free kick, so I'd like to say that's my speciality. And, and as soon as the free kick got given, I thought I'm grabbing the ball straight away and I'm, I'm hitting it. So, yeah, no, it's a great feeling. I think what you've done fans will remember was a, a, a long range shot um, that you scored at East End Park at the, the Norrie McCarthy end for Patrick Thistle. So, yeah. we've known about your long distance shooting yeah. for, for a period of time now. So, as you said, when you got that free kick, you must have been really confident. So, what was kind of going through your mind? What were you looking at in terms of the goalkeeper on the wall and things like that? First of all, I seen how big the wall is and I thought I can't go over the wall here because it was quite, quite close. Um, and I just thought keepers always going to take a step to the to the wall side before they before they go to their side. And I thought if, as long as I get pace on it, then hopefully it'll go in. And luckily it has. And in front of the Dunfermline fans, that that big elation that kind of brought the momentum back into um, our favour. How did it feel scoring that goal and, and, and celebrating like you did? Yeah, no, I wanted to go and celebrate a little bit more, but obviously we was one one at the time, and I thought no, we've, we've probably still had. A, I'm not sure was it ten minutes left or something like that. So. I give them a little cheer and then it was back to the halfway line and we go again. And in terms of the, the second goal, another great long range strike by <coughs> Nikolai Todorov and that's what the manager's been saying, that if you don't start the game, be ready, everybody's got their part to play and yourself and Nikolai showed that this afternoon. Yeah, massively. Listen, it's a squad game at, at the end of the day and, and the two subs have come on and scored and it's, it's, it's a good thing for both of us. Um, but the main important thing is that we've got the three points today and we, we go into Partick next week and, and try and get the three points again. As you said, against your former club, um, Partick next week, penultimate game of the season, everything's still in our hands, so we just need to focus on ourselves and, yeah. and make sure we get the job done. Yeah, I think that's that's what we've done in recent weeks. We're, we're, we're focusing on ourselves and what we can do, and as long as we do our job, then, then we can't have any complaints about ourselves. And a message for the fans this weekend? Keep supporting, like, you're supporting us. It's, it's been... It, Best feeling for me scoring in front of the in front of the fans, obviously, and, and the support they give us throughout the game. So hopefully they travel down in their numbers and uh, we can get the win.